What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Brennan and I'm BmanX45 and today we're coming at you with another video. We have our second deck profile for the EX4 format. We're bringing you our updated Blue Flare list and I've been excited for this deck for a while. Blue Flare, if you've watched my channel, is the only cross deck I've ever played. It's the only one I've been interested in and we had some really great support come out uh, in EX4. I played this back in BT10 and a little bit in BT11 before I switched to All Force. But it's back now and I'm super excited to go over this new support and show you how this is a super competitive deck. I think it'll be really good for the EX4 format. It's too bad though. Uh, I have a tournament at regionals at the end of July. So unfortunately we will be in BT13 format. And I'm not sure how this is going to compare up to the new BT13 decks. But I'm definitely going to play this a lot during this next month in this EX4 format. So without further ado, let's get into it and I'll show you my deck choices. Uh, so we start off, we have the four Wanamon uh, baby. When attacking, if you have a Tamer in play, draw one. It's just the best egg for this deck. You always want to have a Tamer on board. So you get that consistency where you get your uh, draws, which is very important in a deck that does not gain uh, cards off of Digivolution. Uh, you need to have all the draw power you can get. Starting with level threes, we have three or four of the BT10 Gaussmon. On deletion, uh, you may play a level four card with Blue Flare and its traits from your hand, suspended without playing its pay cost. So you get those abilities off uh, when you just take him out, and you basically take him out and you attack with him, uh, let him die to you know hit a security, get the draw off Wanamon, and then get the Blue Flare card, starting your plays and getting your abilities off. Uh, we play four of the new EX for Gaosmon, which is once per turn. Uh, your turn when the card with blue flare and it's traits to play, draw one. So it gives you more draw power. It has a twilight ability, but since we're not playing a twilight version, it doesn't really come up. Uh, we're playing two Dracomon, BT11. Uh, your turn once per turn when you play another Digimon with Dramon or blue flare. Dramon in its name or blue flare in its traits, draw one. So you again, more draw power for him just sitting on board. Uh, and then while well, you play another Digimon with Dramon in its name, or blue flare and its traits gain one memory inheritable which comes up uh, a certain you know because you don't get you don't get the this guy if you digi cross because you lose all the uh, digital evolution cards underneath but there is a way to have him underneath your stack and I'll show you that in a second so just 10 level threes we won't play a lot uh, level threes in fact I might cut one of the Gaos Mon down and I'll tell you why in a minute um, he'd be one of my choices to change up in this deck if I don't end up liking him a lot. For our level fours, we have four of the BT10 Greymon, reveal top four and add two cards with blue flare and its traits. So that's all your monsters, all your blue flare monsters. That's your, all your tamers have blue flare and its traits and your option card, your memory boost option card, which is super important. He's got on deletion save and he's got an inheritable of if this Digimon has a blue flare in its, trait, or in its traits and uh, your opponent has two or more Digimon, unsuspend this. So your Metal Greymons can attack, unsuspend, and attack again, which is super important. Uh, we play two of the new Greymon from EX4. He's reveal top three on play and add one Kiriha and one blue or black card with Digicross requirements uh, in your, to your hand on deletion save, of course. So he lets you add your Metal Greymons, your Decker Greymons, I think your Zeeg, as well, you know, it, a lot of good cards uh, to your hand. And then he has a when attacking inheritable draw one. So again, just getting you that draw power that you need in this deck to stay in the game and have a lot of options. Uh, we play three of the original male Bergermon from BT10. If you have a Kiryuha in play, you may return a male Greymon from your trash to your hand. Uh, and also too, I forgot to mention, his ability is if you have a Kiryuha in play, you may also add a Metal Greymon back to hand. So, you know, you can recycle those cards if you are if you don't have any in your hand, which can be very important. Um, and then if you do have a, if you don't have a Kiriha in play with uh, Male Bergemon, you may play your Kiriha without paying its cost. On deletion save and inheritable when attacking, if this Digimon has blue flare in its traits and your opponent has two or more Digimon in play, uh, your one of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of your turn. So those good stun abilities, they're just really great. Uh, this guy right here, the new male Bergermon from EX4, my opinion, MVP of the deck. 
He's got Inheritable Jamming, which makes it so that your Malgramon survive their attacks. Plus, with this guy, you get two attacks per turn. Just adds to just the consistency of the deck. Keeping your level 5 guys alive is super important. And then on play, uh, one of your opponent Stigmon with the lowest level gains when attacking lose two memory. So again, you, those stun abilities, it just helps you avoid, you know, avoid your opponent's Digimon. You don't care about what they put on the board because you're just going to stun them and then attack through their security and go for game. Uh, and then, yeah. And so that's, that's, that's a cool ability too, but the jamming is super important for this. Uh, and then we play two Decker Dramon and he's on play draw one. And then for each Digimon your opponent has in play, draw one. So if your opponent goes wide, you're drawing your deck, you're getting all your pieces. On deletion save, and an inheritable of 1,000 plus DP if your uh, opponent has two or more Digimon in play. And then lastly, we play one Lanamon. I would play a third Decker Dramon, but I think the one Lanamon is called for. Uh, tamers for you have tam you're gonna always going to have Tamers on board, and Tamer for game is still a play. Uh, when Digivolving by placing a blue level 3, Digimon card from your hand as your bomb Digivolution card, one of uh, of one of your blue Digimon. This Digimon gains jamming, so you can gain jamming with it. The cool thing too is you can take the Dracomon and put him under your stack. Now you have that Dracomon inheritable to gain you memory um, when you play another Digimon with Blue Flare. So that's really good, and you know you get the jamming so that you can potentially attack for game. You know, attack through security with her and attack for game with something low. So it is kind of cool. I don't I don't know if I would cut her. If I do cut her, I would play a third Decker Dramon. But I think more so I would probably cut one of the EX4 Gaos Mon and play a third Decker Dramon. That's the only real change I can think about that I want to make in this deck uh, at the current moment. That's 15 level 4s. We also have our level 5s here. We got 4 Metal Greymon. Material save two on play rush, uh, and then if he's digicrossed, you can um, you can take target three of your opponent's Digimon that have uh, less Digivolution cards than this, and they can't attack and block or until the end of the opponent's turn. So that's super good, super good stun. Uh, Digicross two Greymon and Male Bergermon. You gotta love it. Best best card in the deck. And then we have the new Mal Greymon from EX4. Not as good, but still really cool. He's got on play Rush, uh, same thing. If he's Digicrossing, you can trash up to two of your opponent uh, Digivolution cards of one of your opponent's Digimon. So he store strips, which is really good. Material save two, and and he's Digicross from a blue Greymon and a male Bergermon. So this is why we're not playing the ST1 Security Plus One Greymon right now because uh, he can't use that guy. Still a really great card, as Inheritable doesn't really come up because we're not playing Grey Knightsmon. Um, play two Decker Greymon, Armor Purge, on play when Digivolving, you may place a Digimon card with Blue Flare and its traits from your hand or from under one of your Tamers as this Digimon's Bomb Digivolution card. Then if uh, Decker Dramon is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, one of your opponent's Digimon can't attack or block until the end of your opponent's turn. So you can place the Deckermon in there if you Digivolve with him, which is you can Digivolve from a level 5 for 2, or if you Digicross with a Metal Greymon and a Deckerdramon, uh, which makes him 5 cost, which is kind of expensive, you can then put something else under him, which we'll kind of go over in a second when I get to the other choices. So he's really important. The Armor Purge is good. Uh, going into him as a Digivolution is really cheap, but he's also really good to Digicross, and we'll show you why here. Uh, we play two Z Greymon. So you can put the Z Greymon underneath him with his Decker's ability and get Blocker, which is super cool, because um, he has an Inheritable Blocker on your opponent's turn. Um, he Digivolves two from Metal Greymon, so that's a nice cheap. Uh, make He's almost free, too, because when Digivolving, unsuspend this Digimon. Then if a card uh, with Blue Flare or Exhaust Cross Heart, Cross Heart, I always want to say X Ross. Uh, Cross Heart in its traits is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, and your opponent has two or more Digimon in play. Gain two memory, so you can almost be free if your opponent has a wide board. On Deletion Save, so you can save him under your Tamer, so you can use him uh, as a Digivolution, you know, so which that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, no, uh, um, yeah, save. Then place one blue Greymon and one blue male Bergmon 
from your trash under one of your tamers with general in its traits. So again, he saves uh, your guys too. So it's really good. Uh, we play one Kazoo Hamon. Kazoo Hamon is new from EX4. Uh, when digivolving, you can use an option card of cost five or less from your hand without paying its cost. So you can play your memory boost card for free. And then when you play an option card, uh, you may play a level four or lower yellow or blue Digimon from this Digimon's Digivolution cards without paying the cost. So you can play your level fours, get their abilities off, super good. Uh, and then lastly, we play one Shoutmon X7. And this is why, because you can put him under your, you know, you can put him under your stack with the Decker Greymon ability. And we'll show you how you can do that because you can play him. He's super good. On play, he sends something to the bottom of the deck. When you, uh, all your opponent's digivolution cards and and the uh, monster itself, so that's really good. And then your opponent's security effects on option cards don't activate on your turn, which is also really, really strong. And you can always just digicross for him, decreasing the cost by one for every digicross material you can get in there. So that's also a way to summon him, but there is an easier way, and we'll go over that in a second. For tamers, we play three Kiriha, your memory tamer, uh, and we play three of the new Kiriha and Nene, which is also a Kiriha name. So any of the abilities that search Kiriha or play Kiriha for free will play this for free as well. They both uh, allow you to put, car you know, they both allow you to use cards from underneath them in order to uh, do your Digicross requirements. But this one, uh, when you would play a Digimon card, Blue Flare or Twilight and its traits, uh, with Digicross requirements, by suspending this tamer, you may play one card from under this tamer and one card from your trash as Digivolution cards for this Digicross. So this one lets you play cards from your trash for the Digicross. Super, super good. Uh, then we play for Blazing Memory Boost. On play, reveal the top six cards of your deck. Add two cards with Blue Flare and their traits from among them to your hand. Then you may play one Kiriha uh, from them without paying its memory cost, place the rest on the bottom of your deck in A order. And then gain uh, delay, gain two memory. Super important card of your deck. This card lets you confidently go second because you want to be able to like not use it for five at the start of your opponent's turn. Uh, and it's super good because it sets up your plays. Just really great card. Um, and I think it's just one of the best cards in the deck. And you can search it because it's a blue flare card. Play one Ice Wall because Ice Wall's at one and it is a stun card and it keeps you from losing the game. And we play two Kaiser Nail, uh, four cost, choose a Digimon Digivolution card placed under one of your Digimon and play it as another Digimon without paying its memory cost. So if you use the Decker to put this guy underneath it, you can use the Kaiser Nail to play him from the Digivolution cards. Bam, you get its ability. Bam, you have a 1700 DP monster on board for four. So that is super good. It comes up. This card's also really good because it allows you to play your level fours, you know, from under there and get their on play effects off, which is really strong. So that is the deck. I think it is a very awesome deck. It's got some cool plays, got some really awesome combos. And I really like the synergy of the deck and how everything's working out. Anyways, tell me what you guys think. If you enjoyed the deck profile, what you think I could do better, if you think I should, you know, maybe drop the Geosmon or drop the Lanamon, or if you like the deck the way it is. I appreciate your comments and I always look forward to them. Looks like that's all the time we have for this video. If you enjoyed today's content, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of the fun. And that's all for now, folks.